my challenge for this food aid project is to eat as locally as possible for a week. It's really just analysing and looking at how, how many UK foods are based in the UK in terms of growing and farmed here. It's quite nice weather right now. Just on the shop again, figuring out what to eat and stuff like that. It's day one of the challenge, so I thought I'll go to the most local place to source food that I can think of. So I was headed over to my local Sainsbury's and then I remember there's actually a small market um, stall outside. Where would you say that the mo like, majority of the produce comes from? Uh, most of the fruit is Spanish. Okay. The veg most of it is English. You know, markets are known for their local and fresh produce, so seemed like the perfect place to go and he said that majority of the vegetables were from the UK. Uh, cauliflowers, no cauliflowers are French. Luke stacked cabbage, carrots, potatoes. A lot of the fruit was from Spain and outside of the UK but so was the a lot of vegetables. You know it didn't seem like a lot of produce in that market space was UK produced so I decided I'll head over to Sainsbury's. But I will still say this is a wide variety of things that are appropriate for UK stuff. Apples from Kent. Way goodbye to oranges because they're all from out of UK. For example, these are from South Africa, Spain. A lot of produce in here is from Spain. It was nice to see that the majority of um, meat was farmed and UK sourced as well as a lot of dairy products, for example like yoghurt. There have been limitations to this, this meal. because usually I think I'll throw in some bananas, maybe some blueberries, and I can't do that. None of those things are sourced from the UK. Also, if I was buying, I realized it wasn't really UK-based produce. I could eat a lot of UK-based stuff if I tried to. It's just that I'm not actually actively seeking it out. And also I feel like UK-based things, for some reason, for me, they're more expensive. Like, can we do where I'm buying it from? I'm not too sure, but that's, where I, that's what I found. And so, yeah, we'll see. I had to turn down certain foods around me, having to think about suddenly the labels on things um, more, you know, where, where they come from. I wasn't so much surprised by the lack of local produce within the supermarket. I kind of was within the, the little um, outdoors stall market, but not so much within the supermarket because I'm already quite aware that a lot of our everyday foods um, are sourced from all over the world. Stay for dinner, we've got some chicken, mushrooms and spinach. This is day five's dinner, we've got a nice fresh salad. Made in Britain. Come on! I would say over the week the challenge did change my diet slightly because well, in a, in a week's span, I probably wouldn't notice as much, but over time I think I've become more aware of how it would change my diet. Senegal. Spain. Wow. Even things like tomatoes I would expect. The Netherlands. So it's like, what is even from here? I feel as I don't think you can live your whole life on it. I feel as though to me, a because of my culture and eating a lot of eat, going up and eating a lot of food that isn't normally UK based. Maybe the other tactic is that I feel as though things like potatoes, you always need something like a, a meat or something like that, or like a chicken that maybe from abroad to really be sustainable. And so I think that's why my diet in this sense with this sort of UK grown stuff is the way it is. As a whole, I've really enjoyed this experience, and I've learned a lot about the realities of shopping 
um, local and I think that it will definitely have an impact on the way I think about food sources in general in the future. Benji. Hi.